Once you've set up your greenhouse, you're going to attract pests and predators. Some will attack the butterflies at their various stages, and others will go after the plants. You won't be able to spray or use any kind of chemicals to deal with these problems, because there is a risk that this will also kill your butterflies. So you have to look for alternative solutions. Your butterflies are very vulnerable to several predators that will find their way into the flight area. Primarily, spiders, ants, slugs and snails are the key issues that you will face. With spiders, there is very little you can do, other than carefully checking around the greenhouse and manually removing them. Even a very small spider can bite and kill one of your butterflies or caterpillars. So it's important to check regularly and make sure there are no obvious gaps around the door or joins in the netting and remove any that you find. With ants, they will often take larvae and eggs from your plants. One solution I have found is to use this ant stop product. You have to be very careful with it, but if you place it under a plant pot, on the floor, near where you have seen the ants, then there's no risk the butterflies can get at it, then the ants do eventually find it and it will remove the colony. Slugs and snails can be very problematic. If your butterflies are on the floor overnight, it's very likely they will be eaten by slugs. And they have also been known to eat eggs and pupae. There are two good solutions that I have previously found. Firstly, using nematodes and watering those on the plants and soil does a good job, but it only works for a few months. Or I have found these organic slug pellets called Feromax work particularly well and cause no problems for the butterflies even when sprinkled liberally around the flight area. Now on to the plant pests. If you are only keeping the flight area running for the summer, then the first few months tend to be relatively pest free. But over time, pests will begin to appear. Mealybug, aphids, red spider mite, white fly and thrip are all particularly common issues. Luckily, almost all plant pests have some form of biological control that you can introduce onto your plants and they will take care of the issue. Mealybug can be one of the most difficult pests to get rid of. If you have them, you'll find white sticky masses on your plants. To combat these, you can purchase larvae or adults of Cryptothalamus, a type of ladybird that preys on all stages of the mealybug life cycle. To deal with whitefly, it's best to use a small parasitic wasp called Incarsia formosa. Hang the cards you receive on your plants and the tiny wasps will hatch and lay their eggs in the whitefly pupae and eventually remove the pest from your flight area. Aphids can be very prolific at certain times of the year. Could introduce lacewings or ladybirds, but I've found these also eat eggs or larvae of your butterflies. A good alternative is a mixture of parasitic wasps, commonly sold as aphid scout. This includes five different types of aphid predator, which will deal with whatever aphid species you happen to have in your greenhouse. Finally, thrip and red spider mite are other common issues you might encounter. Both of these have foil sachets of amblyseus mites that you can hang on your plants to remove them. You can find links in the video description of all the suggested biological controls, but you may only need these if you have a particularly bad infestation or plan to keep the greenhouse running for a longer period of time. That's it for this episode. Next time we'll be doing an update on how well the pupae hatched, which species bred, and any other issues we encountered with the setup. So I'll see you next time.